James, you're in your third season as the Twins hitting coach. Were there any challenges that came up unexpectedly that you didn't think you'd have to face coming into the job? Uh, no, it's kind of it's run pretty well. Um, came in, we had a lot of young players initially, you know, and, and now three years down the road, those young players have kind of flourished and have got some experience in this league and are, are playing well. So it's, it's nice to kind of watch the start of the development of these guys three years ago and then see where they are now. So it's pretty fun. Do you enjoy helping develop players? Absolutely. I think that's the passion of the game. I think if you're a coach, you enjoy watching players where they, where they start and then where they finish. So getting a chance to see these guys develop and to the players that they're becoming right now is, is pretty special to watch. You worked before as the Yankees minor league hitting coordinator where you were doing some of that developing of the young players. What did you learn from your time with the Yankees that you brought to the Twins organization? Um, I mean, obviously me coming up in that organization and spending many years in New York is, is basically kind of just helped build my career um, to this point. Um, you know, the organization's always been good to me, but you learn, you know, the importance of preparation. You learn the importance of, um, you know, sticking to a task, staying focused, and those things help you as a coach when you get to the major league level. It's fun to um, see some of the players that I had back then, too, now playing in the major leagues and, and having success here. So it's, it's pretty cool to watch those guys as well. You worked with Aaron Judge when he was in the minors. What was he like to work with in the minors? He just tossed him baseballs because he was a really good hitter back then. So, no, he's always been a great kid. Um, he's always been a really talented guy, um, one of the hardest workers you'll ever come across in the game. And it's just fun to watch his talent finally um, – you know, he, he reaches his potential and he's going out there and he's playing consistently. He's playing really well at the major league level. So you're really happy for him, the person and the player. But he's a, a really special person. Gary Sanchez as well. Did you see that hitter back in the minors that you see now in the majors? Is he a different hitter now? Absolutely. You saw the hitter um, back then. Um, Gary could always hit. Um, when, when he was a young kid in the Dominican and, you know, coming up as a really youngster in the, in the organization, you're, you always knew he had the hit tool. Um, he could hit. He had a special ability to barrel up the ball. Um, and pitches that weren't even in the strike zone. He had a special ability to, to barrel up the baseball. So Gary always had a, a unique ability to hit. You mentioned your time with the Yankees. You played in the Yankees organization, Mariners, as well. What are some of the memories you have from being with the Yankees organization? Um, it's just, you know, family is the, is the word that comes to mind. Um, I've always, you know, you know, once, you know, the way they talk about the Yankee family and the way everybody's accepted. And, you know, so I've always kind of cherished that. Um, I, I believe there's a certain tradition that, that comes, the respect of the game and certain things that you learn in this organization that makes it special. So, you know, I have nothing but great memories of, uh, of being here and, and, you know, still and to this day have really great friendships with a lot of people that are still here trying to win these games, but, you know, still have really good relationships with a lot of good people there. Now you're a New York guy, right? Grew yes. up in Mount Vernon. Yes. Do you have any spots that you hit every time you come back to New York? Um, you know, I try, I try to get back to my hometown occasionally. I don't always make it there, but I try to get back to Mount Vernon. Um, usually in the city where we say I'll go to Ray's, get Ray's pizza, and get uh, cheesecake from Junior. So those are kind of the two places I try to hit every time. Those aren't bad spots. You got it. <laughs> Thank you so much for the time. No problem.